Hey everyone, welcome back to MNMM IELTS. This is Manmohit. Now in today's video, I am going to share with you all another of the cue card from the IELTS speaking section. And this is for people who are aiming for a band seven out there. So do watch this entire video because I will be giving you a sample answer, explaining you a few words, few phrases. Why am I picking these sentences? Why are we using these kind of words? Now I'm not asking you guys to memorize that sample answer as it is, but have that as a reference point and then try to practice that answer by yourself too, just to understand. And you can practice in a proper practical way when you listen to my answer and then you compare your answer with the same. And that would be very beneficial for you. So the topic that today we are going to cover is, now this is an actual exam cue card. Now this is not something just for a practice sake. If you have, or if any of your friends or someone has given the IELTS exam recently, they might have gotten this particular cue card in the real exam. So this one is definitely a good question to practice. Now the question says, and it has got three sub questions after that, is describe a skill that you learned in your childhood. So we are going to talk about a skill that we have learned in our childhood, could be anything. And then they ask us to cover three different sub points for that. First one being what was the skill? So obviously we have to explain what the skill was. How did you learn it? What process did we follow to learn that skill? Like was it accidental or was it intentional? Who helped you? All those things would be covered in that. And the final question is why was it important or useful for you? So again, whenever we do any sort of cue cards, we always say that it's not about what skill, what answer you provide, like what's the content, they're not going to be bothered about that. It's all about your command over the language. So that's what they also want to see in this particular question. So whatever skill you learned. Now, for example, I learned swimming in my childhood. So that's something I would be talking about. If you learned painting, that's something you can talk about. If you learned playing a sport, that's something you can talk about fishing, camping, anything and everything that you consider as a skill is something you can talk about. Even if you feel that, okay, that skill is not that useful for me or useful for the society, that's absolutely fine. They do not really care about that. It's all about the command that you have over the language is what they want to see. Now, obviously when they give you that one minute with a paper and pen to make some notes is what is where you would should be taking some bullet points or some main keywords that you're going to refer to. So for example, if I'm going to talk about swimming, I am going to write down those keywords in my one minute of preparation time. So I would be putting swimming. My parents helped me. I learned it by going with a swimming instructor. So whatever keywords I feel are relevant to my answer is what I'm going to put in my notes. And then when it's time for me to speak my answer, I can just refer to all those keywords or phrases or bullet points that I've created and I can form my answer on the spot. And one thing I'll clarify again, it's absolutely fine for you to look at the notes that you have taken down. And that is exactly the purpose we take notes when they give us that one minute so that we can refer to them. Do not be hesitant of looking in your notebook at your notes and then speaking out your answer, thinking that the examiner might feel that you're reading it off a paper. No, they do not think like that. Even they know you can't write a proper full paragraph based answer in one minute. All you can do is write down some bullet points. And that is what examiner needs to check. Let's have a look now. First, I always tend to give my answer in the sequence, though there is no such rule that you have to give the answers in the sequence. But my job is to make sure that within the first 30 seconds or maximum one minute, I should be able to answer all the questions just so that I do not run out of time. And eventually I was unable to answer one of the questions. So never do that. First one, one skill that I learned in my childhood that has stayed with me till today because I also have to refer at the end that why is it useful to me now? So this is what I can say. One skill that I learned in my childhood that has stayed with me until today is swimming. It's a skill that I acquired at a young age since we are saying that you learned it in your childhood and it has been incredibly valuable to me throughout the life, throughout my life. So you are not just giving one or two words answer. You're not just saying I learned swimming and moving on to the next question but you're also taking some extra words, extra phrases and sentences to elaborate on that. And that is what distinguishes you from someone who gets a four or five band versus someone who gets a seven or an eight band. So we have to give a bit more information to show to the examiner, we have got a good command over the language. So that's my first paragraph. Then I can say, 
how did I learn it? Because that was my next question. How did you learn it? So this is where I will explain how. How did that happen? I learned to swim when I was around seven years old. My parents enrolled me in swimming lessons at a local pool during the summer vacation. So I'm giving some information, some extra details about the same. The lessons were taught by a certified swimming instructor who was patient and encouraging, which made the learning process enjoyable for me. So if you look at the complex sentences that I'm using, this is what get you that magical seven band that we are aiming for. Initially, I was quite apprehensive about getting into the water, but with the guidance of the same instructor that I was saying, of the instructor and the support of my parents, I gradually gained confidence. So I didn't say I slowly gained confidence. I said I gradually gained confidence. So using some good vocabulary words, I gradually gained confidence and began to learn the basic techniques of swimming. Okay, so that would be the answer for my second question as to how did I learn it? Now, I have to give the answer for the third question as well, which is why was it important or useful to you? So I, like I said, I will try to answer all the questions in the first three paragraphs in the first minute that I'm given because I do not want to run out of time and have one question not even answered. That would be a disaster. So why was it important or useful? Learning to swim was important to me for several reasons. So I'm giving more than one. Firstly, it provided me with a valuable life skill that has practical applications in various situations. And I'll give some examples. Whether it's swimming in the pool, at the beach, or in a natural body of water, knowing how to swim has given me a sense of safety and confidence in water-related activities. Now, if you want here, you can even mention few water-related activities such as, uh, such as skiing or scuba diving. All those other activities that you do with water is something you can mention over here. And that can even expand your answer and that can and in that way you can even elaborate your answer even more and you can get those additional seconds worth of content that you want to fit in and then i can say because i said firstly so that means i just can't end it over there i have to give something else after that so i said secondly swimming has also been a source of recreation and exercise for me it's a great way to stay active and maintain physical fitness as it engages multiple muscle groups and provide a full body workout so I'm, I'm basically just describing what swimming is all about. So when you do swim, it is the best form of exercise you can ever do because you use all your muscle joints, you use all your uh, muscle groups, everything is being used when you do swim. So it's a good form of exercise and recreation as well at the same time. Moreover, swimming is a low impact activity that is, that is suitable for people with all the ages and that's correct and fitness level making it an ideal form of exercise for lifelong health and well-being. So it doesn't really mean for swimming that you have to be at a certain age that you can do it. Even if you are a kid, even if you are an old age person, you can certainly do that in various shapes and form. So that's why swimming I consider is the best skill that I've learned because that has not just helped me in my childhood, it is helping me in my adulthood and it will also help me when I get old. So in conclusion, always use these words in conclusion. That's very important. This shows to the examiner that you have actually got such a great command over the language that you not just gave the introduction, you also gave some body paragraphs of content and now you're finalizing your answer. That shows a complete answer. In conclusion, learning to swim was a significant milestone in my childhood and it's a skill that I'm grateful to having acquired that. Not only it has provided me with safety, recreation and exercise, so all the keywords that I already used but it has also taught me valuable life lessons that have shaped my character and outlook in life. So I am using different words where I can, but if I cannot think of any new words, I'm using the same words. That's absolutely fine to repeat few words. They're not going to penalize you on that, that okay, this guy has used the same word twice. It's all about how fluent you are, how confident you are, how well you pronounce the words, how well you can create ideas on the spot, how well you can link one idea to the other, and few other things and this all all the combination of all these things is something that will help you to get that seven band that you're aiming for so this is what i wanted to share in this video i hope it was helpful if you want me to share any more sample answers for any other topics for your ielts q card even ielts essay anything like that feel free to put it in the comments down below and me and mohit can make a video based on that on a priority basis guys all the best if you have got your exams coming soon stay safe wherever you are and I will see you all in the next one.